He is all over the news this week, has 11 civil suits. They range from racketeering to sexual trafficking. Right now, he's taking a big financial hit. He has a lot of people right now that sees him as a moving target, an easy moving target. With the rat card, this is someone working against him in the background. So this has to be somebody that's in his camp. Honestly, if he had to do it over, he would do it again. And it would be surprising to me if he escaped jail time. And let's see, will he face jail time? All right, so Shell, I, I got two people that I want to that I want to do a reading of in today's episode. Hey, the the first person is P Diddy, Puff Daddy, aka Sean Combs, aka Love, aka Whoa, what's going on? He is all over the news this week. If you go to TMZ.com or People Magazine, he's at least eighty percent of the stories because, of course, he has a federal indictment right now that has been filed against him in the Southeast District, Southeastern District of New York. And he has 11 civil suits currently filed with one of the attorneys for the representative saying there's another 120 accusers out there lying in wait um, to file their own suits. He's in a lot of trouble. The accusations on the federal indictment are uh, gruesome is, is one way to say it. They range from racketeering to sexual trafficking to exploitation, and they carry uh, a maximum sentence of one to multiple lifetimes. From the perspective of these charges just being brought and uh, brought, that was a lot of investment by this Southeastern District of New York already put into this case. That represents a lot of investment. There's very little chance that this is not going to go to trial. So it's a really big deal. And then of course we have the 11 uh, civil lawsuits that have already been filed with another 120 on the way. Those themselves allege pretty horrific things that have shown up in the news, right? Uh, that everybody can check out for themselves, but they represent potentially many millions of dollars. Now, whether those go to trial, we've already seen one of them settle, right? There were 12 lawsuits, one of them settled. I don't know. That's my instinct as a lawyer. I don't know. So we have to ask somebody who may have a better idea, and that's Seychelle, who we're gonna talk to next. So here's, you can start shuffling, and here's, I'll, I'll ask you a question. P. Diddy, Sean Combs, formerly Puff Daddy, uh, is in the news a lot, uh, because he has a federal indictment and 11 civil cases against him with other cases lined up. What's going to happen to him with both those criminal charges and the and those civil cases against him? What does his future hold? OK, today I'm actually using the tea leaf um, Oracle deck in conjunction with the regular tarot deck that I use. I want you to pick a pile one or two. Two. OK. By the month of April, we're going to be hearing some news um, when it comes to him. The first card that popped out that caught my attention is <laughs> um, some. But in this sense, I don't think he's the rat. Someone told as to why he's in the predicament he's in. Someone gave authorities the the missing key almost. He is using his intuition right now. And he's doing something. He, he's taking a big risk when it comes to this. But don't think he's not going to come out fighting. Um, I don't know if you've seen recently where his mom actually made a statement. And from what the cards are saying initially, this may be temporary for Puff Daddy. Once again, he may skate away like the weasel that he is, you know, turning out to be. Okay, so we've got we've got so somebody there's a there's somebody's in the hen house. There's a rat in the hen house, and uh, P Diddy's proved slippery in the past. Is he deserving of these charges? What what's the energy behind these charges? Is well, right now he's taking a big financial hit. He has the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in the upright, and the Eight of Cups in the upright. King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's very money driven, someone very greedy, very gluttonous, um, abuse of power, someone who once sat at a high stature right now and is going through a lot of financial problems. Not to mention, like I said, he has the Five of Pentacles right here. The Five of Pentacles is a card of poverty, someone that's losing their shirt, um, someone that's going that went from riches to rags at this point <laughs> you know normally it's rags to riches but this time it's riches to rags hmm. 
the eight of cups is tells me he's going to walk away from a lot and he doesn't care. Like if no, I don't know if I can curse, but if no F's could be given, no f's would be given at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. So the fact that, like I said, the rat was the first card in the tea leaf Oracle that popped out. It says someone is working against you behind your back. He has a lot of people right now that sees him as a moving target, an easy moving target. Everyone, like you stated in the beginning, is trying to cash in. And not for nothing, this is a cash pull from a lot of different people. How many victims are there really? Let's see. It's all in the cards is brought to you by Frontier Tech Law, my law firm. My name is Damien DeNoble. I help small businesses and families bring in part-time and seasonal workers from abroad. For families, I can bring nannies and caregivers for those periods in your life where you just need extra help. If you want a free consultation with me, call 919-827-0918. That's 919-827-0918. I look forward with speaking to you then. And now let's get back to It's All in the Cards. He has the strength in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Six of Cups in the upright. So right now, he's thinking about all the good times he's had. Honestly, if he had to do it over, he would do it again. Um, the Six of Swords in reverse is right now, he refuses. If, if you notice, not for nothing, he has two sixes and two eights on the board, a king and a knight. There's a lot of masculine energy at play. So this tells me there's somebody in the background, a male, who could possibly be his rat. There's someone that is spearheading this campaign right now against him, this smear campaign. But again, spirit is saying that we have to look at the bigger picture. How many victims that actually have indictments against him are actual victims how many of them are the king of pentacles being greedy is there something in those i mean we got two kings on the board is that what you do we have two kings on the board the king of pentacles and the king of cups nope king of pentacles knight of pentacles everything surrounding his money right now mm. five of pentacles so the king of pentacles the knight of pentacles is in reverse with the five of pentacles in the upright Someone wants this man in financial ruin. They want to embarrass him. They want to make him look weak. They want to make him look soft. They want to make they all that power, all that umph that we've seen him with over the years. Someone's true desire is to crush that, to crush his spirit, to crush his. And with the strength in reverse, um, this tells me someone wants to crush his confidence. Someone wants him too weak to fight. Someone wants him to basically bow down to them. So it's someone he's been fighting or working with, like maybe I like a rock. He was working with because with the rat card, this is someone working against him in the background. So this has to be somebody that's in his camp. That knows him. Would Surak, the, the drink company, qualify? Surak. Surak. Surak would qualify. Um, let's let's delve into that just a little bit more. Okay. Ask the question. What is the connection, if any, between P. Diddy's business partners like Ciroc and, and the situation that we have going on right now with him? So right now, somebody is severely trying to block him. Two cards jumped out, the club and the broom. The club talks about someone making you do something against your will. Look at this barbaric tool. Anytime yeah. you beat someone with this, you're trying to beat something out of somebody. Or again, it could be a little sadistic, you know. With the thousand dollars, the thousand bottles of baby oil, he might be into this type of thing. <laughs> but there is someone that, again, like I said, that wants to make him bow down. Someone wants him in financial ruin. Someone does not. Someone wants to knock him off of that high horse that he was on. There's something else to come out. The way these cards just exploded out of my hands is a lot of energy. there's some type of explode some type of tower moment possibly and it's crazy these these three cards just fell just like this right the owl and the bird perched and the butterfly and the butterfly these are all spirit animals if you know anything about an owl that's wisdom someone who's highly intelligent someone who's very mysterious very cunning um there's some type of advice that he needs to follow from a wise person. The butterfly always signifies change or passed over loved ones. Mm -hmm. This butterflies can also um, signify 
if not a passed on loved one, a past, a, you know, a deceased person. Yeah. This says a change for the better is coming with the bird with the bird perch. It says waiting for news, a package or a letter. There is something he is currently waiting on. And with the torch coming out, this is all about spiritual enlightenment. Not for nothing. Frying pan ends off the uh, pool with the frying pan. We've all heard that uh, ac- that old adage. You jump out of the uh, frying pan into the fire. So it's like you get out of one bad situation into a next. If he does not pull back on his ego, if he does not humble himself and take a big slice of humble pie, he is going to be the reason for his own demise. Again, from what the cards is telling me so far, and I'm going to pull a little bit more. I want to clarify the frying pan. Ace of Cups in reverse, spiritually, someone who's mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually drained, someone whose emotion, he's he's lacking empathy. Like I said, take a slice of humble pie, realize where he has been the common denominator in a lot of these situations. He's going to end himself. He, there, there will be nothing left for him to leave as a legacy. When, when you said he's going to end himself, do you mean like spiritually he's going to end himself? Is that what no, we're talking No, he's going to end his career. It's going to be an end in its totality, physically, emotionally, slash mentally, uh, spiritually. Those three, and again, the three cards that fell out talks about mind, body, soul. Anytime the number three pops out or the significance of the number three, that angel number signifies mind, body, soul. Anytime one is out of alignment, it can throw the other two out. But if all three are not in constant balance, you will overpower the other two and then you're in dysfunction, which we clearly see him in. Um, His drug use, I'm hearing, is a big thing. It's part of the reason why he is losing so much. His drug use is altering his perception of reality and fantasy. And right now he needs to come back to reality. Does the full moon being out today and then Jupiter being in retrograde um, affect the kind of energies that you're seeing in the cards? Do you feel, How do you account for that in your reading? So I work with moon cycles. So to me, I'm 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 fired up. I'm I'm seeing things more illuminated than ever. So this Plus, feels to you like child. a very clear. This feels like a very clear reading to you. Very what clear. You're okay, I'm really interested in that rat card. Is there any way to get a little more clarity on that, on where that rat card came up? Because to me, it it kind of anchored this reading, um, in an interesting way. Or maybe okay. even, or we can even look at that spiked bat. Because, what, um, and then the, the owl, I'm an, you know, I'm not, I'm not even good enough to be an amateur, but the other thing, the owl is also like a really strong hunter. Is there any possibility that the owl card coming up is not so much him looking for wisdom, but a hunter coming after him, maybe with a rat? So no, um, how I'm interpreting the owl with the rat card, again, Al's main significance is wisdom. Owls are very wise creatures. He is being urged to take a wise person's advice at this time, which he seemingly throughout all of this, he's been given a lot of sage advice from entertainment moguls to CEOs to diplomats. Drewski. He has not heeded anyone's advice at this point. And it's like, how much times is God going to send you? How much times is the most high going to send you a life jacket? And you're just going to keep throwing it away because you just know the most high is going to throw another one. Eventually the life jackets run out. And right now what he's looking at are the life jackets running out. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Well, is there anything else that we should look at on Puff Daddy that could be illuminating or do we want to look at look at one more person i say let's look at one more person let's look at one more person okay so i to me that's super interesting um i definitely from a legal perspective i can tell you that this indictment again from the southeastern district in new york uh seems pretty likely to end his career all around um and it would be surprising to me if he escaped jail time you know from this, just with, with seeing how these so let's go. Let's explore that really quickly before we move on. Let's see, will he face jail time? Okay. I want you to think about that question intently and then tell me when to stop shuffling. Okay, stop shuffling. Let's see what we do. So again, we got the bird perched. Right now we have, he's dealing with a dark haired woman, as we know as Cassie Ventura. 
Um, there may be a couple of other dark women. By next, by December, we're going to be hearing some news or he's going to get the news that he's waiting on. Mm. What he's waiting on will not be granted. It doesn't, and I'm hearing this has to do with his bail. No matter, because the yoke card came out, that definitely clarifies he's not getting out of jail no time soon. Oh, wow. Um, he feels He feels helpless. This is the first time in his life that he's felt powerless. Um, again, if he does not take heed to the sage advice that he's being urged to seek out, like I said, by December, he's going to get the, the umpteenth denial for his bail. They keep trying to come up with these creative bail packages to get him released. He only has power while he's on the street. He's only feared, quote unquote, while he's on the streets. As long as he's behind those walls, he is powerless. And honestly, spirit is showing me that he may just face some of the things or some of the atrocities that he's put others through. Mm. Behind there, it's a whole nother beast. It's a whole nother animal. So we'll mm. see if it's the bad boy. We'll get it together. But he's That's, definitely not getting out. Yeah. Well, I think I think we had a legal opinion and a psychic vision come together there. I, I think that's, I can wholly believe that, even just kind of looking around. So hopefully no violence to him in jail, though. I, I really, I hate just on a, from a justice perspective, that we allow our jails to be continuing places of violence. Well, if you allow the jail to become privatized, that's what you open up the gates for. That's it. That's it. He has a big court case in Connecticut out, and the accusations against him by his accuser are pretty horrific, scatological, one might say. He creates a lot of conflict and chaos around him, but it's a means of control. Not for nothing, something more sinister that may come about when it comes about in the entertainment industry. Hey, did you enjoy that awesome episode of It's All in the Cards? Well, if you did, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell that tells you that you can get notified whenever we put up another video. We have lots of stuff going on on this channel. We try to provide very cool programming. You can learn about immigration. You can learn about law. You can learn about the future. See you next time.